welcome and or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Mara. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We like to roll natural hair here on this channel. So if you make sure you go ahead and give a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and join the fam because you know we is growing. Now, as you guys can see, my hair, it is wet. It's not dripping yet, but it's wet. And we got to pull back into some twists. We also got a box behind us. So, you know, we must be doing a little bit of styling. Now, it's been a while. I honestly do not remember the last time that I actually did a blow drying video on my channel. I believe it's been a year or so or more. So today I'm just going to be doing my updated blow dry routine and not really much has changed except for the tools that we're going to be using because you know I'm excited to try out some new tools and y'all know that we also chopped a few inches off my hair so it's time for an update so without further ado y'all we're just gonna slide right into this video now like i said y'all we have a box behind us this is the new timo air hype blow dryer y'all and just look at this box first of all look just look at the packaging i'm always impressed by timo's packaging just the outer packaging of it Mm. Like I said, Time will always have really good packaging when it comes to their products. So that is honestly something that I'm looking forward to. Especially if you're spending your money, you're expecting to get quality. Okay. You open it up, it looks like this. We have the little... Ah, that was the manual. We're probably not going to read it, but we'll get to it in a second, okay? So you have a dust bag for your blow dryer. What company going to give you a blow dryer dust bag, okay? We have a diffuser attachment, which if you have curly hair, this will be perfect for you. And you will see why in a second. I'm going to show y'all. We have a comb attachment, which I will be using on my blowout today. And we also have a concentrated nozzle. And all of these attachments, like the previous blow dryer, they are magnetic. So you don't have to fight and try to get those attachments onto the blow dryer. It's just click right on there now y'all with this diffuser like i said if you have curly hair it is perfect for the curly girls one i don't know if you can see it but there's a little slight notch here on the side of the diffuser and pretty much what that does if you slide it from one side to the next it's pretty much just going to extend the prongs on the diffuser y'all see that okay, so it's actually really smart that timo took the time to consider the curly girls because if you got thick hair and you got a lot of product on your hair and you're looking for definition you're just looking for your hair to dry when you diffuse it at the root you can get to it without having to sacrifice even more time trying to get all of your hair dry for the start of the show we have the Timo air height blow dryer now i would say the competition with this would be the dyson um, well, the Dyson's a little pricey, so if you're looking for something that's a little bit more cost effective and it'll get the job done, probably even better, and it has the attachments that you do not have to pay for separately, then you might be considering this. So as you guys can see, I plugged it in and we have that LCD screen on the back. Real quick before we slide into the dryer a little bit more, this is very lightweight, y'all. I thought my Dyson was lightweight. This is lighter than my Dyson and the quality is very durable. So that is something that you also may want to consider as well. And plus again, the attachments. Oh, you got a few buttons on the blow dryer. Let's just take a little sneak peek at the diagrams what we have here all right so as you guys can see on the back of the blow dryer we have a little switch here it goes up and down this is the on and off switch we have two buttons here on the front one for the temperature and one would be for the air speed when you turn it on all right so like i said my hair it is freshly washed i did apply my heat protectants off camera but y'all i'm excited to see what results we gonna get so let's just get right into the blow dry
right, y'all. As y'all can see my hair, it is completely blown out, y'all. Look at that. As y'all seen, y'all, we just go ahead and split our hair into four sections just so that way we can make our lives a little bit easier with that blow dry process. And my hair was already detangled, but of course, I did use the tension method as well to help with that blow drying process because we're not trying to be here all day. But again, like I said, it didn't take long at all. Look at my hair. Ooh, look at that. Look at that movement. Now, as far as the blow dryer, y'all, like I said, I love me some Tymo products. They do make really good quality products, and I do still use all of their products to date. If you're considering that Dyson Supersonic, like I said, that price point is a little high, and you also have to buy the attachments separately. So that is something to consider, especially when you're shopping for a blow dryer. But like I said, I would definitely do recommend this one because not only do you get the comb attachment, but you also have that diffuser attachment as well. That'll get down to your roots and your scalp so it is a win-win when you have everything that you need right there you don't have to go looking for anything paying for anything extra like I said it is a pretty good quality blow dryer they got me at the LCD because I do love me some technology as I said before so they definitely got me there being able to see the exact temperature and then the exact speeds it's just <laughs> 2023 okay like I said the blow drying process it was very straightforward it did not take me long at all again about 25 minutes the only problem that I had with blow drying my hair the only problem that I had with blow drying my hair y'all is that the way that I hold the blow dryer I hold it like this that way if I need to do like that I can do that but y'all see what the issue is right here like my hand my fingers it's on the buttons so i kept hitting the buttons y'all i'm in the middle of blow drying my hair and i just feel my scalp get real hot i'm like oh my god what is that so i look at the temperature and it's on 210 degrees i was like oh my lord that was hot y'all 210 degrees is hot if you want to start off with 140 you can definitely do so and then work your way up but anything past 180 like that 210 Y'all gonna feel it. Like I said, I was considering going up to level two for the fan speed. I did not have to do that, but my my fingers, they kept hitting the buttons and it just kept shifting between the levels. So again, like I said, that is the only issue. It may just be the placement of the buttons, but it depends on the person that's holding the blow dryer. It could honestly just be me because one, I hold it like this, y'all. I hold everything like this when I'm trying to do my hair, so again like i said it could just be me but aside from that it was very easy to maneuver around my head getting the angles and whatnot twisting the twisting the nozzle so that way we can get the areas that we need to get so everything like i said it was pretty straightforward and again this is definitely something that you want to have in your beauty box and your hair box whatever you want to call it thank you again to timo for partnering me on this event again y'all i really do hope that y'all like this video make sure you give a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.